I am Saha Shuman. I'm a Palestinian from Jerusalem. I am the generation of the war. In my lifetime, uh, we have been transplanted uh, from Jerusalem. We had to take refuge in Egypt. Then I lived in Lebanon. Then now I am in Jordan. I'm the generation of the war. In my lifetime, I have seen nine wars, two intifada, and uh, uh, it's we, I tried to make a life for me in the Arab world, but still always the longing for my homeland, the fact that I, I don't have the right to return, has always remained in me and made me want to express myself in a way. Uh, I always express myself in a more suggestive way as an artist. Uh, but a uh, few years ago, two years, on the occasion of the 60th commemoration of the Nakba, which is the, the, uh, the tragedy that befell the Palestinian people, I find myself uh, uh, almost forced to do an, uh, a direct film that shows the tragedy of the Palestinian people, the 60 years of our history. And I called it Stop for God's Sake. Later on, a year later, I knew what has happened to our orange plantation that we call Bayaretna in Gaza, and that has been totally destroyed by the uh, Israeli occupation forces. So I made another film, uh, more personal, about our land, our pla orange uh, plantation. Uh, by, by telling our personal story, I'm telling the story of all the Palestinian people, because this is the fate of all the people in Gaza, that this uprooting of the trees and the uprooting on the news, everybody usually speaks CNN and everyone about the houses, the people, of course, the people who died. But nobody mentions the importance of a tree for a Palestinian. An orange tree needs to, if it is replanted, needs 15 years to, be, to bear fruits. So by destroying the trees all over Palestine, they are destroying our livelihood. They are destroying our life. And they are trying this way to uproot us the way they uproot our trees. This land, uh, uh, this land is a land uh, that my grandfather bought uh, in 1929. And he started planting orange trees. 1929, you have to know, uh, the state of Israel did not exist. Uh, he started planting orange trees. And uh, uh, he had, uh, over the years, the equivalent of 151 acres. Of, of land, planted with orange trees, Valencia, tree, uh, Valencia oranges, with lemon and with palm trees. It was a beautiful land and uh, over the years we continued on planting it. We continued on uh, uh, his son after him, uh, my mother, us, we continued. It is uh, our land in, uh, in Gaza. Starting from 2002, before there were any problems with Gaza, with Hamas, and they started entering and destroying, uprooting trees. We used to, I know, when you see the film, you will know, uh, when I say they uprooted 1,387 uh, trees, it's because we used to complain to the authorities that this is why I have the exact numbers. So they entered six times between 2006 to 2008, and they destroyed, they uprooted 26,892 trees. And now, uh, and during the war of Gaza, and they destroyed the water wells, they destroyed the, the pipe, they destroyed everything, and the house, we had a little house, they destroyed the house as well. So now, my grandfather's uh, plantation, our plantation, our orange grove, is a total desert. There is nothing in it. They say, the Israelis, when they came, that they came to a land uh, that was a desert and they made the desert bloom. The irony now, what you see, is that they are coming to a paradise and they are making it a desert. So I let you <laughs> judge the situation. At the, uh, at, uh, at, since 2002, we were tried to go to court, whether in Israel or in the States, it's always the answer because my family had to finally take refuge in uh, they, they are American nationality. There is always the response, it's a matter of national security. We are not Hamas, 
we are not politically engaged. We just have our land that runs in the family for almost 90 years now and that, that we are planting it. So neither we have the right to return to our land, nor we have the right to protest against the actions that uh, any normal human being has the right. It is one of our natural human rights that we are not allowed to, uh, to, 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 to implement. So this is the situation. We tried at the time to replant some trees. They come again and destroy them. So what do you want us to do? You tell me what to do. An artist, each one of us, has to do when he can, what he can do best, the best he can. I am an artist and I believe artists are witnesses of their time and their history. They have a responsibility. I tried before the indirect message where I speak of exile and loss and the loss of a loved one or loss of land, etc. It was reaching but not reaching enough for the gravity of the situation we are in. The Palestinian people are dying. It's not, I don't speak about politics. I'm showing the reality on the ground. This is how it is. Whether we have good or bad leaders, this is not the issue. Whether we have made mistakes or no politically, this is not the issue. The people are dying day after day. They have been the Palestinians and and this is for me, it's a tribute to the Palestinian people. For 61 years now, that have, they have been struggling to survive an, a brutal occupation and, uh, by, by a racist enemy. For 90 years, the Palestinians have been f struggling for their independence and crying for freedom. And it seems it goes into deaf ear. Nobody is. We have international laws international resolutions that are not respected and the situation is getting worse and the people are dying. Gaza now is a big concentration camp. I don't understand how people who have suffered so much, meaning the Jews, we are not against the Jews, we are against the political system that is uh, uh, racist and uh, exclusive of any other. So the, uh, I don't understand how these people who have suffered so much are doing such things to, to another people, to, to us. How can they sleep at night? How can they have their conscience clear? So it's uh, if through my art, I am a witness, as I told you, I'm this generation who in my life, I have witnessed nine wars. You know, so if, uh, uh, if m through my art I can show what is our reality and uh, people would understand, then this is a big plus. I would have accomplished my role. Then the rest is up to them. Uh, art, I believe art is universal. I believe the human spirit is universal. The same way that I speak of the Palestinians, I will stand for any uh, uh, people or any country that has suffering and that has tragedies. And the other artists feel the same. Like uh, we have some American artists during exhibi international exhibitions who have done uh, great artworks against the war on Iraq, for, for instance, or who has stood with the Pal for the Palestinians or with the Chinese. So artists, I hope, will continue and are have a because you look at human, you do not discriminate depending on race or religion or affiliations or we have to, we try to see, let me put it this way, a world that show the world hoping that we will go, will have a better world to come. Uh, it's actually, it's, I don't like the word cultural center because the word culture is very big. What we have is what we call a home for the arts. This Home for the Arts uh, was uh, started, the story goes to 1988, when uh, uh, the idea was to support uh, Arab artists